Ooh. Yo, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? <sighs> yo, 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 what's up, guys? Um, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show. I'm gonna tell you guys how. <sighs> Yo, 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 guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna tell you guys how. Oh, how. Sheesh. Bruh. Yo, guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nino Sazon, aka DJ9. And uh, today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys why DJs should also be able to know how to MC. So if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. This channel is all about building better DJs and it's about me sharing my experiences as a professional DJ with all of you guys. So, I'm seeing as a DJ, especially if you guys haven't done it before, it is scary. It's a scary thing, being in front of people, standing in front of people, being on a microphone, talking to them, everybody's eyes on you. <laughs> it's not easy. Trust me, I've been there. Yeah, I sucked at first. It's a learning experience. It's something that you just gotta, gotta head and face first. <laughs> head and face first. <laughs> head and, head and feet first. And uh, just go with it, right? You need to just, do it sort of thing and uh, the more you do it the better you get it MCing is pretty much a skill on its own it takes practice to develop a piece of advice to to help you with MCing is to write a spiel or a, a little script just so you can get an idea of what to say when you're gonna say what I did I, I wrote down what I was gonna say for certain times and I just memorized that and for the next like 10, 15 weddings, I would say exactly the same thing, right? And then as I went along, I would change it a little bit, just depending on the reactions I get from, from the crowd. And I learned to, to just be more flexible with yeah, them yeah. Practice it in front of the mirror, on the way to your gig in the car, right? Um, practice your delivery. Try not to sound so robotic, like you memorized it. Um, but with practice, that'll come anyway. You don't have to be the best MC. You can just make sure that you say what you gotta say, be concise, get your point across, and then that's it, yeah. right? The bare minimum is all that you guys really, really need. Now, there are a lot of uh, benefits to MC as a DJ. It boosts your confidence. If you were shy before, you couldn't talk to people, talking to someone, going up to a girl, right? Hi. Or, or whatever. Getting you to MC in front of people is the best way to get over that, right? Especially once you break the ice, once you start talking at the event, you feel like, yeah, I can talk to any of you guys, right? I've already, I've already talked to all of you guys. So you can go up to them, just make small talk conversation, build your rapport, man. So it boosts your confidence and it makes you look like a, more of a professional. If you can talk in front of a crowd, right? Makes you look good and you do want to look good. Yeah! Now, another benefit of I'm seeing is that it raises your value as an entertainer. You're not just a DJ. You are a DJ slash MC now. In their eyes, you are more than just a DJ, right? And therefore, you can charge more, right? It just makes sense. Sometimes clients are looking for DJs slash MCs. Most of them are looking for DJs slash MCs, let's be honest, right? And um, if you can do both, you are more valued than just a DJ that only will DJ. So those DJs that choose to just DJ and not MC, they refuse to MC, will only be limited to those gigs, those DJ gigs, right? Those that can do both MC and DJ, they'll be able to do anything and everything, right. every gig, right? So what would you rather? 
I'd say around 75% of my gigs, my weddings and events, um, they asked me to MC if I can MC as well. And I'm like, yeah, of course I can. Right there, book on the spot, right? Just knowing that you can do both, it's already a, a plus for them. It's a plus for you because you can do it and it's a plus for them. It's a win-win on both sides. Another benefit, obviously, of knowing how to MC when you're DJing is that you can charge more. Like clients sometimes are looking for a separate MC, right? And they'll charge an extra 500 to a thousand dollars depending on their uh, level of MC and what they're gonna do, right? So if you can do both, definitely, you definitely can charge more for that service because it requires more of you, more of what you need to do. Another benefit of you knowing how to MC is that you might get extra work, right? You might get just MCing work if you're good. Right? Uh, don't close those doors. And seeing work could lead to more DJ work as well. Yeah, it goes yeah. both ways. MC work and DJing work goes hand in hand. So those are the benefits of MCing. Let me know about this topic if you guys think I'm right or wrong. Um, should DJs learn to MC? Do you guys MC? Or do you guys just DJ? Let me know in the comments. So in conclusion, I think all DJs should definitely know how to MC. So DJs, get on that microphone, get to speaking, don't be afraid. You just need to take that first step and uh, just take it from there. Take it one step at a time, right? It'll only benefit you guys if you guys know how to do it, okay? Just remember that if you guys like this video and you got something from it, please give it a big thumbs up, hit that like button, and if you haven't already, subscribe, right? A lot more tips and uh, gig vlogs and gear reviews coming in future videos. This is DJ9 signing off. See you guys again in the next video.